and President Obama have asked Brazil to return the boy to his father. Our right, developing a tent tonight, police and the FBI are conducting a terror training exercise in Queens, and it will go on for quite some time tonight. Fox 5's Lisa Evers is live in Fresh Meadows with the very latest. Lisa. Well, Ernie and Derry, we're here on the southbound side of the Clearview Expressway, and let me show you what's going on here. This is a super checkpoint, what cops are calling a choke point. It's all because of a training exercise by the NYPD and FBI. More than 300 cops and 400 FBI agents are taking part in this counterterrorism drill. They're stopping cars and trucks. They're trying to find and disarm a radioactive or nuclear weapon in one of those vehicles. Now, um, they're stopping the vehicles, searching them with special equipment. Commissioner Kelly says it is the right thing to do. And I think it's prudent for us to exercise with the FBI, uh, you know, the event that a improvised nuclear device finds its way into New York City. Cops will be armed with PRDs, portable radiation detectors like this, during the training exercise, which goes until 2 a.m. You can expect major delays on the southbound Clearview Expressway between exits 3 and 4. The FBI says it's the best way to be prepared. I think in exercising in, in a real-life environment is the only way to, to really to do an exercise, to fully test our capabilities uh, as we work closely with the NYPD. Now, cops are telling us that the drill should be over by 2 a.m., and the good news for commuters is that the Clearview will be fully open in time for the morning rush. Ernie and Derry, back to you. Lisa, thank you. Also developing at 10, the Supreme Court won't block the sale of Chrysler, turning down a last-ditch attempt by opponents of that deal. Late today, the high court rejected a plea to block the sale of most of Chrysler's assets to Italian automaker Fiat. A federal appeals court has approved